So I have uh, Ryan Spencer Reed here. He's one of the photographers of uh, the Dafo Dafo project. And um, it's, it's my great pleasure to talk to you, Ryan. Can you t t tell me uh, some of your um, experience in taking the photos? Sure. There must be some really scary one or um, shocking one. Like, share with us some of the experience, of your experience. Please. I think I think one of the experiences that stands out most for me is, is uh, when I was in South Sudan. And um, I heard a, a lot of loud commotion, a lot of screaming and shouting. And um, I didn't know what it was because it was actually my first trip into Sudan. So. Um, I walked to where I heard the noises with my cameras, and um, I came around a, a tukul, a hut, um, a structure, and on the other side was coming a, a funeral procession and a, a child that they were holding that had passed away uh, from pneumonia. And I remember feeling like I was trespassing, like I was out of place, like I shouldn't be there. And I started to sort of, you know, slowly sort of back away. And and I let them pass by me. And um, I was right in front of this tukul, the, the opening of this hut. And as I backed up and so I continued to back away to make my exit, I was stopped by a group of Sudanese elders in the south that insisted that I stay there. And they ushered me into this hut and sat me down. And, um, you know, it was as if they were forcing me to, to do what I really ought to be doing anyway. Because, you know, I traveled there with a camera. Mm -hmm. And... There's a great deal of responsibility that goes with that, and it doesn't do me or them or anyone any good to shut down or to not make the picture. To not document what's And that's what they were happening saying, and, and, you know, without any words ever, ever exchanging, without any communication or conversation, they innately knew why I was there, you know. It wasn't, um, it wasn't like I got lost from the pyramids down to the game parks in Kenya, you know, and found myself in Sudan, and, you know, I didn't belong there. They, they showed me why I belonged there, because they understood that for me to be there was an opportunity to, um, you know, for them to say something about how unacceptable it was. Mm -hmm. What kind of actions can we take? Uh, divestment, as divestment, divestment is huge. As a everyday common citizen, um, that is a market-driven solution for market-driven problem. Go to SudanDivestment.org. Um, second, pressure your elected representatives of which you're a constituent, and um, also the media. Pressure them, ask them to to cover the issues you care about, and um, reward them. You know, praise them when. They do cover the issues you care about um, because uh, they so often get negative feedback, so seldom get positive feedback. So. Thanks a lot, Brian. Yeah.